Creating videos can result in huge file sizes which take up a lot of space on your computer, but it doesn't need to be this way. In this video, I'll be sharing with you a really cool app that helps to compress videos without losing too much quality. Let's get into it. Now, the app I'm talking about is Handbrake. I've been using this for about two years now and I find it's very useful for when you need to compress videos that are going on social media. The great thing about Handbrake is it lets you convert any video from nearly any format, it's free to use and you can use it on almost every platform. To get started with this app, just head over to handbrake.fr or click the link in the description and download the file. Once you've installed Handbrake, we want to go ahead and open the app. Once you open it, it will look something like this. To get started with compressing our videos, we want to go and click on Open Source. Now there are two things that we can do here. If we want to compress just one video, we can locate just that one video file and compress it. However, if you have a list of videos that you need to compress, we can just select the folder that contains those videos and Handbrake will scan it and give you the option to compress them all in a queue. So for this example, I'm going to choose a list of videos that are contained within this folder. So all I need to do is select the folder and choose open. Handbrake is going to scan through the videos to see what we're working with here. What we can do here is click on this list and we'll be able to see all of our videos. All I've done here is download a few stock videos from Pexels. Now the great thing about Handbrake is it allows you to create a compression preset and apply it to every single video. So let's go through the compression process. There are multiple formats that Handbrake offer for compressing videos and I recommend that you go through each of these so that you can suit your own needs. In this example, I'm going to compress these videos so that they're in a suitable format to be used on social media. The preset that I've found is the best for this use is Vimeo YouTube HQ 1080p 60 frames. Now with my preset selected, I can go ahead and adjust all of the settings that you see here. I don't typically mess with all of them. The one that I do change is the frame rate that I work with. In most of my projects, I work at 30 frames per second. So all I'm going to do is go into this list and choose 30 frames. If you're working at 24, you change it to 24. If you're working at 50, you change it to 50, etc. When I compress any of my videos, I typically leave the rest of the settings the same. But please feel free to explore all the settings and change them to suit your needs. So let's say we have all of our settings configured here. What we then want to do is choose a location for the compressed videos to live. Now Handbrake will default to your videos folder on your computer, but nine times out of 10, this isn't where we want our videos to go to. So what we need to do is choose browse and simply find where we want to save our videos. I'm going to put them in the same folder as the original videos. What I then do is I change the name of the output. I typically just put a HB at the end of my file name so I'll know it's the compressed version. Once we've done this, we just need to add it to the queue. Now what we can do is go through every video and all we need to do now is change the name of the output because everything else is set up how we just set it up for the first one. So with all the videos added to the queue, all we need to do now is go ahead and click start queue. Handbrake will begin scanning each video and compressing it using the settings that we provided here. If you want to see how far it is through the queue, you can open the queue here and view each video case by case. Once Handbrake has finished compressing your videos, you'll notice a bunch of green ticks down the left of the panel. Now, if we were to go into our folder, we will see the old and the new videos. Now, if we were to compare the file sizes between the uncompressed and the compressed, we'll notice a considerable difference. If I just pull up the properties of these two videos, you will see that we've gone from 124.5 megs down to 61 megs. Now, if we open up these videos, we can see that by playing them back, the quality of each video looks pretty much the same. So this is the original and this is the handbrake. Original, compressed. And it's the same for every video that we've just compressed. Now this is a really handy app that can be used for any video and I highly recommend you use it if you're uploading videos to social media. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and comment your thoughts below. And for more creative fix tutorials, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.